So what did you miss at Jubilee today? Well, he missed our celebration of Pentecost, our first celebration of Pentecost. I say first because we're going to do it again on June 10th for reasons that, well, come June 10th, I'll explain that. But we celebrated Pentecost today with the usual reading of from Acts, of gathered together and the wind and the flames and the tongues and the hearing and the babbling and the understanding and all the language and all of that. We, we did that. And some of the kids were great. We decorated the table in red cloths and we had orange streamers and we had flash paper and things ignited. And we ran up and down and made the sound of wind and people recited the Lord's Prayer over and over again in a variety of languages. And some of us said Yanni and Loyal and tried to figure out what we were hearing. So that's, that's how we acknowledged Pentecost. Oh, when we sang with trumpet and energy and rhythm and that, it was, it was, it was good Pentecost. <laughs> it was good Pentecost. And then we got quieter, a little more reflective, and I began to wonder, what does Pentecost mean? If it's not a great big pyrotechnic event, what is Paul after when he talks, when he, when he writes the, to the Romans about the Spirit interceding for us, with sighs too deep for words? What's what's that about? And I began to wonder aloud about private moments, private Pentecosts, the coming of the Spirit, that sense of connectedness. I began to wonder about the act of sighing <sighs> and all the times that we sigh as children when we're held and made to feel safe, as adults when we look around the world and we just don't know what to do. We, we feel ourselves on the verge of giving up, of, of losing hope, and we sigh. Those times when we have been in the last moments of a loved one and heard them with their final sigh or the sigh that we've released just just moments after. Are we releasing and does the Spirit move in to us? Is there a holiness that happens? I, I think that there is. In those moments when we sigh, the Spirit intercedes for us, communicates for us in ways that we can't put into words the holding a loved one as they hurt and listening to them sigh and sighing with them. The sigh when all is right with the world and there's bunnies in your backyard and sun out and, and you're just glad to be who you are in this moment. The spirit intercedes. I suggested to folks today that those are moments of Pentecost. We don't usually call it that, but it is. It's, it, it's not tongues of flame and wind, but it is, it is an understanding that goes beyond words, a feeling of connectedness and a feeling of hope. And I reminded folks today that hope, and I really wish I could remember who said this or where I picked it up, but it's, it's stuck with me for a little while now, that hope is not just anticipating good things happening. Hope is not just the inevitability of a happy ending. Hope is discovering that there is something worth working for or fighting for or living for. And that's Pentecost. That moment that the Spirit intercedes and connects us to one another and connects us to God and we realize there is something worth living for. Even when it seems like we're losing the battle, it's worth it. It's worth fighting because there's something worthy of it. Even if I can't prove that we're going to win, even if I'm not even sure that we're going to win, it doesn't matter. Hope is when I know that it's worth striving toward. That's Pentecost. That's what we talked about today. Yeah, we ran around and made noises and celebrated and 
felt the presence, but then we got quiet and we felt the connection to each other, to creation. <sighs> Pentecost. So you didn't have to be with us today. You can sigh. You can think about all those moments in your life when you've just sighed and recognized the holy moment that you're in. The wondrous, glorious connection that puts you in with creation and what it means to you in that moment. What it inspires you to do. How it opens your eyes and your heart. Oh, look, I'm giving you the whole service right now. Sigh. Remember that you're loved. And know that we miss you. And that the sooner we see you, the better for us. And I hope the better for you. So until we see you, God bless.